Okay guys, so I had a bit of a setback uh, with my mating, the four mating bin experiment. And uh, here's what happened. So I started the bins on the 26th. The following day, I came in to check on them and I found all of my African night crawlers dead. I couldn't understand what was going on. The rest of the worms were okay. So I removed the dead worms and replaced them with new ones. And the following day checked on them again and I found all of them dead. So <clears throat> I checked the other bins and I found one uh, red wiggler dead. I panicked because I didn't know what was going on. I removed all the live worms and put them back into their perspective systems. I trashed the bedding and uh, thoroughly cleaned all the bins. And what I've done now is I've started the whole uh, thing with brand new bedding, bedding that has not been sitting. Um, I. For the life of me, I can't figure out what happened, but I am just, oh my God, heartbroken over this. You know how much I love my worms. So what I did here was <clears throat> each bin got uh, equal amount of shredded cardboard and paper. So there are eight scoopfuls. Then each one got a scoop of um, uh, eggshell, a scoop of alfalfa meal, and then I went to each bin. For example, this is a red wiggler bin. So I went to my uh, red wiggler bin right here. I removed just a little bit, like a handful of compost, making sure there were no worms, no cocoons. There wouldn't be because it's a brand new bin, but I put the inaculate, in other words, the material from that bin, I put it into uh, the red wiggler bin to start the, de the um, bacterial process. I did the same thing with the European Nightcrawler bin. I went to the European Nightcrawler bag. Same thing with the blue. With the blue, uh, I went to the blue, um, all blue bin. And same thing with the African Nightcrawler. I went to the African Nightcrawler bag. And this will sit here for a week um, because I don't want to put any worms in here, just in case the bedding heats up or goes through whatever it needs to go through. I don't want to take a chance on anything happening to them and we will restart the experiment again. But if something happens again to the worms, I will not be doing this experiment simply because I have no idea why this happened to begin with. So I lost 10 uh, African night crawlers. I lost one blue. Four were fine. I lost two red wigglers. Three were fine. And all the European night crawlers were okay. Not sure why. The bedding was all the same. Uh, but in any case, um, that's what I found. And we're going to start this again. I will post. Um, I will actually keep going with, with this video. I will just let it sit for a week and then I'll show uh, you me putting back the, um, the worms back into their uh, respective bins. Uh, I, I have no idea why this is happening and I am, I'm just at a loss, but um, I'll bring you right back when I start putting in the worms. So it's time to add the worms again. <laughs> and here are my five red wigglers. All have their clitellum, so they are mature. Here you go, guys. Okay, so here are my five European night crawlers. In you go, guys. 
and I hope you guys do okay. I can't take any more bad news. And here are the blues, five of them. I am not going to put that baby in. does not want to go in there. I wonder why. Where's that baby? Oh, here it is. So the baby didn't go in. But the blues are, whew, they're tunneling fast. Last but not least are my five African night crawlers. There you go, guys. So I'm really hoping that nothing happens and that uh, they'll be okay because I can't imagine why I had that issue since I'm using the same bedding in all my bins and my worms are doing just fine. Okay, so we have reset the experiment and keeping our fingers crossed that this time nothing happens to the worms and we can just continue as before. I'll let you know what happens, but um, I always post whether it's good, whether it's bad, uh, whether it's a success or whether it's a failure, because this is much as much of a learning experience for me, I'm sure, as it is for you. And um, I'm always, I'd like to think upfront and open with what goes on within my bins. So this is a little setback, and hopefully we're not going to have any more issues from here on in. Thanks for joining me.